Welcome back. Just about 6.10 on our Thursday morning and after a... I enjoy mm -hmm. that stuff, Dan. You know that. I like yeah, the, you the like warm, the heat. Hang the on to it. Stuff. Right? Hang on to it for as long as we can, but today a little bit cooler. Yes, today yeah. more of that fall feel. So yesterday, if you like the summertime stuff, that was your day. Today, if you like the autumn stuff, It definitely like feels good today. It's just yeah. a reminder that... Yeah, it's coming. coming. We're going to yeah. get more and more days like this, which isn't bad if we could like freeze it and exactly. hold on to it, right? 100%. It's what comes yes. after autumn that a lot of us uh, don't particularly care for. Not all of us, but some of us anyway. Uh, but right now, we are more comfortable than yesterday. It's not as humid. Uh, the temperatures are a little bit cooler, and we're going to end up a lot cooler in terms of our afternoon highs today. Yesterday, we got to 90 out at Westover. Today, we're going to probably settle into the 70s in many locations. Dew points yesterday got all the way up to about 71 or 2, so it was oppressive for a little while. Dew points today already are down into the 50s, and that's where they're going to stay throughout the day today. Those dew points in the 50s with a lot of clouds now, but we will see sunshine working on in and temperatures coming up into the 70s. So that combination makes for some delightful stuff. Certainly a comfortable day. We're a lot cool. I shouldn't say we're a lot cooler. We're a lot drier right now because our temperature yesterday at this time was 68. We're 64 now, so we're only a couple of degrees cooler, but it's all about the levels of humidity, and they are a lot lower. And it's a lot cooler from Burlington to Bangor, Maine, where skies have cleared out. They're in the upper 40s and lower 50s. And look at it down to New York City. It is 75. So there's a front in here somewhere, right? It's off to ourselves. We're on the cooler side of the front, and that cooler air is going to be working in. I think we're going to average about 12 to 15 degrees cooler today compared to yesterday. There's the front with the dew points low uh, on the eastern north side of the front and still very humid down towards New York City and Philadelphia especially. And that front will be draped off to our west the next couple of days. So we're going to stay on the dry, cool side of it. A mixture of sunshine and clouds throughout the day today. Maybe just a few clouds tonight, but no problems. That stationary front off to our west will keep some showers around New York and Pennsylvania. But for us, we're going to be seeing a fair amount of sunshine tomorrow. Maybe just a few clouds mixing in across Berkshire County. So a delightful Friday. Now, Saturday, that front more or less just falls apart as the mugginess takes over. So as we go through the day Saturday, it is becoming more humid. We'll have clouds mixed with some sunshine. We'll call it partly to mostly cloudy, but we're not expecting much rain on Saturday. Maybe just a shower. It's not till Saturday night that the bulk of the rain is going to be moving in. So Saturday will start with dew points in the 50s, but by the end of the day, those dew points are coming up into the 60s. So we're starting to feel that mugginess, and then that will lead to some showers, some downpours, and maybe a thunderstorm Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday will reverse it. We'll start humid, and then we'll turn less humid as we go into the second half of the day and Monday right now, Labor Day looks beautiful. It'll be sunny and dry and just some comfortable stuff here with temperatures in the 70s. So that is your next weather maker. It's going to be a cold front out ahead of it. We we uh, bring up the humidity and then eventually as the front comes through, probably Saturday night, that's when we'll have the showers and downpours. The front actually comes through Sunday, but uh, the showers and thunderstorms perhaps as well will come in Saturday night through maybe the first few hours of Sunday. And how quickly this front moves out will determine, of course, how our Sunday plays out. It does look like it'll be on the muggy side and a bit unsettled. But Monday looks delightful with a push of drier air working on in and some sunshine, oh, quite a bit of sunshine for your Labor Day, the way it looks now. Still a few days out, but that's how things are shaping up for the weekend. Saturday looks less wet. Sunday looks a little more wet. And Monday looks beautiful. And on into next week, look at those temps. Lots of sunshine as well. Another check of the forecast in a few minutes. David, over to you.